angry guy here, and women reveal that they are not emotionally intelligent. Guys, if you're enjoying this content, let's get this channel to 100,000 subscribers. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you already haven't. Like the video and turn on notifications to never miss another video again. Now let's begin. Women reveal that they are not emotionally intelligent. Let's just go ahead and jump into the first video. Women are not emotionally intelligent. And when a woman says that she wants emotional intelligence from a man, what she really means is that she wants a man to be able to change his behavior to make sure that she isn't the one being out of control with her emotions because she's not able to control them herself. It means that the men in their lives have to behave a certain way to essentially make her behave correctly because she doesn't know how to control her own self and her own emotions and she's not emotionally aware of things that are going on around her. Most women that scream emotional intelligence don't even know what it means. It means being in control of your emotions and using logic around situations and adapting to different environments, which women cannot do, myself included. When a woman says that she wants a man to be emotionally intelligent, it means that he has to just know everything that she's feeling 24 seven, seven days a week. And it gives her the ability to deflect accountability and shift blame as to why he doesn't just know. Women think that just because they're emotional, it means that they're emotionally intelligent. But the reality is, is that Women use their emotions as an excuse for poor behavior, or they use their emotions to shift blame to the men in their lives for not being emotionally intelligent. And really, men are more emotionally intelligent than women, and women don't want to accept that or believe that, so it's easier to just blame men instead. Okay, bye. Guys, if you notice, it's men who have to constantly focus on trying to figure out and decipher a woman's emotions at all given times. When a woman is speaking to her friends, her friends immediately know what she's upset about because she tells them. Her friends know what's going on in her life. They know everything that's happening. Her friends don't have to decipher her emotions because her friends already have that information. While a man has to continuously play detective, inspector gadget, and try to figure out why is she upset? Why is she behaving this way? Guys, this is emotional terrorism. Think about the rationality here. Men are the ones who have actual emotional intelligence because we're able to control our emotions and apply logic to decipher what's happening around us and the behaviors of others. Women cannot do this. It, instead, they use emotional manipulation to try to get men to continually shift to their, to their wants and their needs and their emotional state of being to make them feel better about themselves. And even then, it's not enough. This type of thing is terrible. You would never tolerate this behavior with children. Guys, I've warned you that it's because women don't have good fathers that raise them properly why many of them are acting like this. Children learn how to regulate their emotions from their fathers, not their mothers. That's why you have a lot of men in, in, that are incarcerated, that are in the, in, in the cemetery that have passed away because they did not know how to control their emotions. Look at thugs, guys. Look at thugs. Look at Tyrone. Look at these people. Ray Ray, Pookie, Enrique, M Miguel, Quan, Little Pancho. Guys, look at the guy, the most aggressive people in society that, that, are, that do bad. These are men who don't know how to regulate their emotions or control their emotions. These are men who are displaying what I refer to as single mother energy. Because many of them were raised by single mothers or women who, relate, who pushed their husbands into a state where they were essentially just eunuchs in a relationship and they were walking around with this masculine energy. And of course, their children did not know what else to do. So they adapted their mother's traits. So all of these men, these thugs, these dudes, these Tyrones, Pookies, they're walking around with single mother energy. Look how emotional these men are. These men can't control their emotions. Look how, how vile they become instantly. They cannot control their emotions. It is a pattern of behavior that we see in Western society. And of course, modern women will deflect 100%. 
Modern women will completely deflect. They will never admit to it. They will stay on their heel till the end of time. Until the end of time. The vast majority of them will never admit they are, they are wrong. They will live in a storm drain. In delusion. Before they ever admit that they are wrong. They're too far gone at this point. They, they will drag down every young woman with them. And tell every young woman to do what they did. Even though it has left them in a state of financial hardship and destitution. You will have homeless women. I'm telling you, you will have homeless women telling young women to do exactly what they did while they're pretending to be something that they're not. You'll have these women out there that have nothing, nothing but massive amounts of student loan debt, massive amounts of personal debt. They don't even have a place to live. And they will try to pretend like they are successful and they are happy when well, you can see the misery written all over their face or the narcissism written all over their face. And the only thing that will bring them joy is bringing other women down with them, especially young women, because knowing that these young women are now going to go down this path and, just, and, and ruin their opportunities of having a normal or a semi-normal life and have a, a family will then validate their experiences and make them feel better about their decisions because misery loves company. Women talk about like on these panels or whatever that are in discussion when I'm debating feminists all the time. They'll always bring up like women are more emotionally intelligent. I'm like, oh, you mean cry more? <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. They can never describe <laughs> what being emotionally intelligent is because that, that really being in tune with your emotions means you're not capable of handling it. Being emotionally intelligent would be feeling the emotion and then suppressing it and not acting on it immediately and interrupting everybody else. Stoicism, it actually is emotionally intelligent. I was doing a street interview and a girl was talking about how like if like you cried right now on the street, that'd be emo because you're not scared of people judging you like that's the least intelligent thing to do in this situation being able to control your emotions understand your emotions and then respond accordingly that's emotional intelligence being able to decipher the environment around you that's emotional intelligence control is emotional intelligence guys i'm telling you right now you need to wake up and realize there's nothing left in Western society for you. There ain't nothing left here. There ain't not, there's nothing left in Western society for you. Walk away. MWA, men walking away. Walk away from toxic Western society. Walk away from toxic relationships in Western society because they will make you crazy. Emotionally intelligent than men. Uh, yeah, but not in other ways. Do you know what I mean? Like math? I'll fuck a bitch up in math. Some women are more mature. Some guys got arrested development, but some women got arrested development. And you know what I call those girls? What? My girlfriends. <laughs> Emotional, yes. Intelligent, no. So, ha so half. You yeah. think men are less emotional than women? I've never seen a woman punch a wall after losing in fantasy football. It's a different emotion. It's not. It's yes. It's an emotion, but it's not what. Isn't we Isn't it healthier to have a wide range of emotions than put it all into anger? I think girls are better at like saying it. You know? Saying what? How they're feeling. Mm. You know? How are you feeling right now? Excited. Emotional and emotional intelligence are not the same thing. Men getting upset is not the same thing. It's, it's not, guys, let me, there are times when you should get angry. Now, you know, we, we walk around in a society today where men are constantly being told that on one hand, they need to express their emotions, but on uh, the other hand, Oh, certain emotions should never be expressed. Anger, that's something that men should always keep in check. Men should never get angry. Men should never express that emotion. Men should always keep their anger in check. Let me tell you something about anger. Anger is important if you don't allow it to control you. Instead, you control it and you use it as a motivator to get the things you need to get done. Guys, me making my videos and content for you, that's me using my anger to reach out and tell you that something is wrong in this world, and I don't like what's wrong in this world, so I want to share that with you, and I become passionate about that, so my anger is not controlling me, it is, all right, I'm using my anger to push me to get the things done that I need to get done, because I know something is not right. Men have become too damn docile. Let me tell you this. Think about history. Think about how men have survived throughout history. Do you know how much has been achieved because men got angry? 
you know, like for example, oh, God, men were living in caves, you know, the caves, you know, it's it's good enough, you know, it, it protects us from the elements, but uh, this cave is not all that great. You know, it would be better to live in like a, in, in, in like a house or something. What's a house? Well, we're going to have to go figure that out. You know, I don't want to sleep on the, in the mud anymore. I mean, you know, that it's, it's, it's something to sleep on, but it's, it's cold and there are bugs. Okay. Well then we need to make beds. What the heck is that? We're going to have to go and figure it out. You know, anger has driven men to, to survive and thrive and innovate and create society in and of itself was built because men were angry. They didn't want to live these miserable lives anymore. They wanted to do better. And that anger drove them to be more productive, to, to create, to succeed, to develop. Guys, docile men, docile men are basically men that have, have nothing left because they'll allow their homes, everything to be taken away. A country without its men is not a country. I've said this before. A country without its men is not a country. A country without its men is a wasteland. And the women do not value men in Western society. But look at the women outside of Western society. They're like, we will take these men. We will snatch up these men. We will happily grab these men, and we will use these men to build our own families, our own communities, to build ourselves up. And we will do everything to keep these men happy and healthy because the survival of these men ensures our own survival. Women in Western society, however, countries like America, countries like the United Kingdom, countries like Australia, countries like Canada, they think that they are so special. They think that they are so perfect and that men will always want them because of social media. Boy, oh boy. They think because... You know, you have these older guys who are buy, spending $6,000 in a single night on them, you know, and buying them drinks that they're high value women because they have done literally nothing to earn their value. But they must be valuable if men are investing them in them because they simply exist. This is, how, this is how women end up believing this because they live in this delusional world where they're given things that they have not earned. And they're given so much that they haven't earned that they now believe that they need to be paid for their presence. So when a woman says, well, what I bring to the relationship is my presence, you know, you, a real man doesn't ask a woman, what does she bring? Her presence, it makes his life better. Her energy, because she's been given everything for free, just for existing, just for being there. So now, now when she's older, she thinks that she just needs to exist to get whatever she wants. She doesn't realize that she sold out her future. She sold her future for instant gratification in the present. In the present, she wasted her time with these men that were just looking for a quick fling when she should have been looking for someone to settle down with and build a family and a relationship with. And guys, I do not feel sorry for them at all all guys if you're enjoying the content if you enjoy if you like this channel and you want to help this channel to keep on growing you want to see this channel get to 100,000 subscribers so we can reach more men and get the word out smash the subscribe button if you already haven't done so like the video and turn on notifications to never miss another video again i want to know what you guys think regarding all of this Women reveal that they are not emotionally intelligent. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. We'll talk about it there. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA. Been walking away. And cheers.